Welcome to our tutorial on the user interface of the Prenect cockpit. My name is Carolyn Healy and I work for Prenect Service Information Development Team Kiel. We'll now show you the various functions in the user interface of the Prenect cockpit that will make your work easier. A menu bar is found at the top of the user interface. The menu items vary according to the workspace you selected. The toggle switches are the central controls in the Prenect cockpit. This is where you find the icons for jobs, queues, administration and digital printing terminal. Remote access, job combiner, analyze point and scheduler are also found here if you have licenses for them. All the jobs that are currently in the system display in jobs. They may be listed in groups or subgroups that you set up. Likewise, this is where you can create, open and set up new jobs. You can find information about the various engines in queues. In administration, you'll find all the tools you need for configuration and management of your work. This includes system settings, user and customer administration, or the setup of sequence templates. You can control jobs manually in digital printing terminal. You can find more details about this in the video called Digital Printing Terminal. You can see recently used jobs in the job window. The job notes window is beside this where you can enter your job notes about each job. These are assigned to a certain job in the entire workflow. You can view them at various points. To create notes, go to a job. This is where you can save any notes you want. You can go to a certain workflow step by clicking the icon of this step. You can also invoke a context menu by right-clicking elements. This has commands that affect the marked element. The Prinic cockpit gives you a number of ways to customize which data display. In the view menu, for example, you can show or hide lower levels of the job groups. Likewise, the view menu lets you show and hide the job notes or digital printing terminal. You can make the size of the various windows bigger or smaller using the Minimize and Maximize icons. The window stays in the size set if you select the Pin icon. The size of the pinned window doesn't change when you resize other windows. You can make sections in the cockpit a separate window by clicking the Detach from Main Window icon. You can now move the window freely on the desktop or display it on its own monitor. When you close the window, it automatically fits back into the cockpit. You can also customise the job list view. You can customise the number of columns shown and their order in each of these lists. To do this, Click Customize Columns. This is where you can select or deselect any column and change its order. You can sort the jobs in a column in ascending or descending order. Not only that, you can sort the list by columns. Controls for filtering the job list are found to the left of the job list. For example, you can view all finished jobs. Likewise, you can set your own filters. Add new filter rules using the plus sign. 
Select the options you want and save the filter under a new name. You can choose different colours for the icons. This lets you tell your filters apart even if the view is minimised. The tooltip shows you the name of the filter. You can find details about the settings in the Qualify sequence in the online help. Press F1 to display it.